Oof. Gotta be fast. Gotta be fast. Watch it. Hup. Bang. Bam. Boom. Got him. Man, what's good, y'all? It's your boy RGG, a regular gun guy. If this is your first time on my channel, please smash that sub button. And if you're returning to the channel, I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. Keep in mind, anything I say in this video is strictly my opinion. Company may send me a product, a firearm, or whatever it may be. And I am under no obligation to say anything that I don't agree with. So I'm going to keep it 100. Woo! -hoo -hoo. This is a little different. This is a little bit different today. I wanted to, I, I, and I, but I'm excited about it a little bit um, because I've been having fun. Today we're gonna talk about some virtual reality stuff, man. It's a, it's a app, a software app, whatever you want to call it, that you use through virtual reality called Ace, Ace VR, right? And it's like virtual shooting world, man. And what you need in order to get involved with this particular uh, product that I'm speaking of is you're going to need a virtual reality setup. I'm not doing the video on the headset today. Okay, like this is not about the headset, but you need a virtual reality headset, Quest 2 or Quest 3, right? MetaQuest 2 or 3 in order to be able to actually use what we're going to be talking about today. Okay, um, and I will have to reference this a few times just because it's the only way it's going to make sense. So you do need one of these. If you don't have one, you'd have to get one to use the app that I'm speaking on. Now, that being said, this is actually pretty dope, right? Because you can do other stuff. You don't just have to, you know, uh, have the one app that we're speaking about today, which is Ace. You can have, whoa, just a whole slew of things that you can do on here. So... Long story short, when you buy one of these, it'll come, whether it's the two or three, right? And they're a little bit different. And quickly, let me give you the difference between the Quest 2 and 3 as it applies to Ace. So the two, the three is, is the newer unit, so it's going to have a higher resolution, higher bit rate, a little better quality when you're moving around and stuff like that. It also has uh, the mixed reality capabilities that the... Quest 2 don't have and like when you start talking about like mixed reality is sort of you know where it's got a pass through feature where when you're looking through the headset the cameras are actually picking up your surroundings whatever room you're in so that means some of the games can be real like like really advanced where you can literally be playing a game inside of your house your room you know whether you you know have targets pop up and you shoot them in the ace program or whatever the case is so it's 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 pretty uh, advanced. So, full disclosure, um, the unit and all was sent out to me, but I was able to experience this at Shot Show for the first time. So I went by the by the um, by the booth that Ace was at, and man, within a couple minutes, I was hooked. Guys over there, are just awesome, man. Real cool, down to earth guys, and and they helped me out a lot, man. And um, and and they're very helpful even to this day. So I'm going to start by letting you guys know that they do have excellent customer service, man. I think that's important with any product that we work with. So when you buy one of these, it'll come with two joysticks, two controllers like this. I'm buying it right here. All right. So it'll come with like two controllers or whatever. And basically, you, and then when you get Ace, Ace is, is subscription-based. So let me get that out the way first, because everybody gonna be like, "Well, how much do it cost?" So it's subscription based, and we'll get in, we'll get more into that as we go. When you get Ace and you get the subscription, it comes with this. You'll get this sent out to you. This is very important, right? This is the firearm that you use, and the way it works is the controllers that I just spoke of. The controller literally fits inside of the shindig, and I'll show you that in one second here. This is called the Ace. Arctis handset. So, and basically it's like a, a, a P320 in a way. And they did an incredible job on it because they thought it all out. Like this thing was, was engineered very well. 
you know, by dope engineer guys and competition shooters and so much different input. They spent a lot of time doing this, you know, based on my conversations with them and based on the product because you could tell that it had to be time put into it. For example, the gun has weight to it, okay? that That's, I mean, it weighs about as much as your real gun, so that makes it realistic when you, you know, using the product. Two, they thought about the trigger situation. So they say the trigger is about four pounds, about a four pound trigger. But what I thought was dope by this being like a controller, you know, look at this. It actually has realistic, like t real take up. So you got your take up on the trigger. And here's the brake. And it's got an audible reset. Watch this. Look at that. Quick reset too. Brake. Reset. They even thought about within the software where you can drop the mag. So you know where you drop the mag at on your gun, right? So basically in the software, when, you, when you're when you using Ace, you can you hit the button, drop the magazine. You'll see it drop on the screen. And then you just hit the bottom and it reloads it. So I ran out of ammo, click this, put it in. The slide goes forward automatically. And then you can get back to it. So they thought about a lot of cool things, man. So that gives you the opportunity when you're using this virtual shooting program to have to, for it to be really realistic. I'm not a competition shooter. And I think it was it's primarily geared toward competition shooters, but very useful for anybody. Be it a new shooter, be it somebody that just don't, uh, uh, a person that loves to shoot but just don't get a chance to get out to the range due to whatever their reasons are, work, weather, whatever, so on and so forth. And there's so many different things that you can do as I'll show you a little bit later in the video. But the way this works is the controller that comes with your meta, uh, meta 2 or 3 just fits inside of this shindig, right? You put it inside of here. It is real simple. You just pull this back and pop it down. It's really, really simple. And if you want to know more about this product, definitely go to their website. To um, It is acexr.com. Go over to their website, man, and you can, you'll can you get a lot of information over there. They got tutorials, all types of stuff. And I've also seen a couple videos out there on YouTube. Because I'm not. this is not going to be a how-to video, okay? This is just me kind of giving you the general breakdown of what this is. And some of the features, man, and some of the things that you get within the software. So let's go out to the range, check it out, and then when I come back, I'll give you my final thoughts, like what I really think about this. Boom. Okay, guys, we are at the range. We inside what's known as the hut. All right. Um, as I turn around, I'm standing in one spot inside the living room. I got the VR on, obviously. If I turn around, I'm just making a circle around you can see outside to the range and then all the way around in a circle and I'm just standing in front of the board that gives us different things that we can do okay um, but I'm gonna start from over here kind of work my way around and keep in mind this is not a how-to video this is not going over every single feature every detail this is just kind of giving you the general overview of what this is I will start from the top so you have the store here and where you see brass this is how you acquire things brass and lead right you you pick this up by constantly playing the game and shooting um, doing daily challenges and things like that and then it's got all your, your different things here your weapons ranges huts apparel some of the stuff is not available yet but it's all coming furnishings accessories and then you got but what is available now is like weapons so let's just start here I'm going to click on weapons, and I saw the other day where I thought they added the Walter PDP steel frame. Woo-wee. Yeah, buddy. So, it said you must be a level six. Um, PDP steel frame. I wonder if I, so I only got 255 brass up there. You need 500, I'm guessing. I wonder why it says free right there, though. Did it say that for all of them? Let me see. Let me see if I got like it. There it is. It's free right now, so it's enabled. I have it. Look at that. So they just added the PDP steel frame. But either way, in this particular um, board is where you can get your weapons at. 
So, and you buy weapons or you acquire weapons or optics or whatever by using the brass that you have available. You can go to exchange where I can exchange lead for brass, right? Or brass for lead, however. So one, no, one lead equals 25 brass. So just to give you an example, if I go exchange, you see where my brass went up and my lead went down one? So watch the brass and I'm going to do one more. So it went up to 305 and my lead went down one. So that's pretty dumb. Back to the store. So now I'm going to go down to weapon parts. Okay. And this gives you your optics. And I've got quite a few of them. If it says enabled, I've already purchased them. And you can, man, 507 with the ACSS reticle, the Acro, Delta Point, uh, the Max, 509T, SRO. Ooh, I didn't see this. They got a Sealy Bull Pro in here. Get out. Get out of town. I'm just seeing this, y'all. And it's free. It says you must be a level 6. I am a level 11. Why not? Let's just go get the Bull Pro. We'll just have it as one of the options. So one of the things I talked about a little bit earlier is once you buy this, like once you get the membership, everything that's added on here, as they add new products, optics, guns, and everything, you are able to, you know, you get it. It, it just comes with it. You don't have to pay any extra anything. Okay. Um, this here's the workbench. We'll come back to this. It, it has an actual, absolute um, use. So looking up here at the board, this is kind of the features in the game uh, or the app, whatever you want to call it. Thrills, drills, skills. Okay. We, we hit thrills, and basically, you get, like, you got a couple mixed reality ones, which I'm not getting to all the way right now, but you can go through a bunch of different stages here in the thrills section, right, all the way to the free range, which I'll take you out to the free range in a few minutes here. And they're always constantly adding stuff. Go back. Drills. Man, this is where it gets really good, especially for competition shooters, novice shooters, whatever. You're trying to get into this thing, man, and st working on your transitions. You want to do steel challenge one day. Whatever the case is, you know, this is it. It's got everything, man. All types of stages, popular stages, custom stages. It's got so much stuff. And this is all available right out the box right now when you get it. So, you know, that's a plus, man. I, I think when, when we start talking about is it worth the membership price, which is not really a lot of money, I think it's less than 20 bucks a month, um, you're getting a lot right here, a whole lot. I'm still scrolling, right? And I'm, I don't, I don't know if y'all able to read it or whatever. So in this, in the game, so part of the virtual reality thing is, I'm looking down at the floor right now. Um, you, because I almost ran into the wall a few times because I'm not used to virtual reality. So, like, say I want to go closer to something, like over here where you join. There's, like, a joystick on the controller that you basically hold up on. It'll give you, like, this blue thing. And if I want to stand right there, I just hold that down, let it go. I'm right in front of this thing, right? I want to go back to where I was. Now I'm right in front of this thing, okay? So that's kind of how you teleport around. You port yourself to the next location. And I'm only saying that because I don't want y'all to think that I'm just walking to the different areas. So now I'm going to take you over to the gun wall. And as you can see, I got my PDP steel frame. That's crazy, man. Right now, I'm using a Staccato P. It's got the iron sights on it. And you can go through the different guns. And I'm going to try the steel frame out today because I think that's pretty awesome. Um... Why is it saying 320? They got to fix that because it's saying 320 on the steel frame. But they'll get that fixed. They just added it. so. Because there's your J JPL uh, race gun. Yeah, they'll, they'll get that fixed. C2. So basically, I'm going to try to switch to the steel frame. Okay. We get on it. Hit it. Boom. Now you see I have the steel frame. I'm holding it. It's in my hand now. So I'm going to take you guys over to the workbench, and I'm not going to get into all the details of how it all works. We'll go over to the workbench. I'm going to port closer. Boom. I'm right here at the workbench. Highlight the workbench. I'm going to press one of the buttons on my controller. 
which is going to give me my red dot option. Right now it's set to none. What do I want to put on this here PDP? Still, right? I can go with the Romeo 2. I can put a Bull Pro on it. I can put the SRO on it. I can put a 507 Comp on there. And we can go see what they look like. Let me see. Let's see what this 507 Comp look like. All right. All right. Let me get a little closer. That's what the 507 Comp looks like. Let's see what the Acro looks like on it. Not bad. SRO. 507 C. See, on this one, it don't give you the 510 because they had a 510 on that race gun. Bull Pro. I think I'm going to go with the Bull Pro on here, to be honest. Um, or I can go with the 509T. But you can basically just change the optics on here, man. And all I'm doing is a soft press on the trigger, and that changes the optic. And I have to hit this button to get out so I have the gun back in my hand. Because if I don't, one time I walked away and the gun stayed on the workbench. So now I have my PDP steel frame with a Sealy Bull Pro. And you can, I can hold this up. Let me see if we can get the dot. There you go. Now you see the dot and what you're looking at. All right. That's, that's dope. So now I'm going to port my way back out out or not back out but out to the well i forgot this part so over here is where you can do like your multiplayer stuff see what friends are online if any right my buddy dennis he's not online right now um you can go and find different players you can go in the multiplayer um mode if i just click this turn this on it enables multiplayer it's going to give me a room code so any of my friends on here i can give them that room code they put it in you put that co code in or they give you their room code once that code put in, join the room. You guys will be on the range together, you know, doing whatever game you choose to do, which I think is awesome. So remember I talked about porting, right? So we will port our way out to the range. This whole time, I've basically been standing in one spot. All I do, I turn around. Here's another cool feature. Look at this. I know I don't know if y'all saw this yet. It shows you how many rounds you fired. I talked about this earlier, I think, a little bit. It shows you how many rounds you fired and how much money you save. And I was talking about the actual hardware gun that comes with this thing. And we put 30,597 rounds through. It. And it saves a lot of money. I don't know how those calculations are done, but it saves a shitload of money, man. So let's get out here. Let me see um, what we're going out to the range now. I'm just porting. So wherever I put that blue is where it's going to have me standing. I want to go right over here, right here, back up a little bit, turn around. I'm just getting myself in. Oh, my Lord. I didn't mean to do that, y'all. Don't laugh at me. All right, there we go. I, don't, I want to get myself right here because it's the same screen that's inside so we can go to whatever. Just to give you an idea how it works, right, I'm going to go to the free range that I showed you earlier. So it's like a free range right here. Boom. Click that. I'm at the free range. Every, everything out here I can shoot. There's no timers. There's no nothing. Right now, if I look down to my right, this gun is in the holster. I'm going to press this button. Hold down for a quick second. It takes the gun out the holster. It's in my hand now. Now I'm holding it and, it. and it's hard to explain it, but having the gun in my... like It really feels like I'm holding this gun. It's unbelievable. One of the things I don't like is the fact that I don't see my hands. It's a little weird. I wish I could kind of see my hands or like the cameras picked up my hands because it just looks like the gun is floating in the air. But when you pull it up to your eyes, you see this, you see the dot like you can just keep your eyes on the dot. And this is this is going to help the Sealy Bull Pro too because I think a lot of people will sleep on that that optic. Now, if I if I just go to any item, boom, dot on it, squeeze, dot on it, squeezed. OK, anything I want to shoot, boom. Boom. Let's get this guy. I didn't mean to shoot the star, but I did. Might as well get it on out the way. If I want to shoot the plate right. Boom. Awesome, right? If I want to shoot these big pumpkins. I can rapid fire if I want. So it's pretty awesome. We can go back to the board. I'm, I'm going to get out of the free range. I'm going to go back. I want to go to drills. I'm going to 
we'll look at a few of the drills. I'm going to go back and show y'all something that I think is real cool. That'll kind of blow your mind a little bit. I want to show y'all something else fun. Um, this drone 360. If this was not something that, that was so fun to me. So let me explain it. Basically, I'm standing inside of this flower circle. I'm going to turn around. I'm in the same spot. I'm just turning around. I'm looking up and I'm standing inside of this circle. When I turn back. I'm showing you the rules. Stop any drone from entering the ring of flowers. The longer you last, the more they come. Try to last as long as possible. That's the rule of the game. When I press A, I got to be looking around to see where the hell the drone coming from. Let's play. Oh, Lord. I don't see now. There he is. Boom. Oh, Lord. Hit him. And I got to keep turning because I don't know where they coming from. I'm missing like a mug. Oh, wow. He got to be coming. Oh, there you go. There go another one. So that's the drone game, and that is so fun to me. Um, let me get back over here. Give me a look close over here. And I can go back through any of these drills that I want to. One of my absolute favorite drills to do is called mover. So this one, I'm in the shooter's box. You know, steel targets must fall. You got to hit the paper targets twice or whatever. I like to do this one. I, I, I probably played this one a little bit more than all of them. Um, and I'm usually using that race gun. But I'm going to try this. I'm going to run this one real quick. And then we'll go back and just kind of sum up this video. So Stand by. I got to keep my muzzle pointed down. Boom. Keep that twice. And then get that one twice. That's slow. But that's basically how that drill runs. But you get better as time goes. So let's go back, you know, to the desk to the desk and... and and finish talking about this thing, man. Okay, okay, okay. What you think? What you think about that? I'm, why did I just ask you what you think? Like, I was going to be able to hear you answer me. That's That was weird. As you can see, man, it's got a lot of cool stuff that you can do. Once you put those goggles on, it's literally like you're standing there. Like, you're there. Like, you're out there at the range. It's so realistic that when I first got it, Man, I turned my dumb ass was trying to walk. I was walking like I would look at something and I would start walking toward it like I damn near killed myself. Good thing it's got these boundary things that show you when you're about to run into something. That's the good thing about the technology of virtual reality because boy, I could have hurt myself bad. I think that you can definitely get a lot from it. Acquiring your red dot sight, um, transitional shooting, um, you know, practicing, getting ready for competitions and things like that. Save you a ton of money on ammo. I mean, I think that's a big one. As you can see, I didn't put over 30,000 rounds on this thing. I've had it for a few weeks. I put over 30,000 rounds on it and, and the, the hardware is still holding up. So, you know, so it gets you a lot of trigger time and it's helped me. When I, when I go to the range now, me acquiring the dot, and I think as they keep putting more dots on the game, you know, it's not the actual dot, but it's pretty damn realistic. The fact that the software will keep evolving. They're adding new stuff weekly. So you saw I got the PDP steel frame. I didn't, this is my first time seeing that when I did this video. Steely Bull Pro. And, they, and they, they had added the 507 comp a couple weeks ago. So, you know, you always see new things. You know, new drills, new thrills, new, you know, skills. You know, all of it. Now, what are the cons? Because I'm one of those people that feel like there's no such thing as a perfect product or a perfect firearm. So there has to be some cons. Um, if I had to point out some things about this, because it is a pretty good unit, and I do think it's worth the investment. It is membership-based, right? So you have to pay, I think it's $220 or $228 or something like that, and that gets you the subscription for a year. Is, this, is it worth it? Yeah. Will people frown at that? Maybe some will. I think that once you see it and see what it is, you'd be like, that really ain't shit. You'd be like, man, that's that's not bad at all, actually. So, but if there was a con, that could be one. You know, just the fact that it's membership based and you just can't pay a, a flat fee. It's so realistic that if it was a way to get like real haptic feedback or some way to emulate recoil, and I, I know that's next level. That's That's some other stuff going on there. But if you could do that, that would make it. Boy, it would be over the top. So, I mean, if there if that was a con, and that's not a deal breaker to me, but I, I would think that could be a con if, you know, that you don't get to experience the actual recoil. Everybody might not like 
you know, the SIG setup. But, there is a but here. I was told by one of the gentlemen that this particular unit is modular. So, that means in the future they'll be able to change the frames out. So, you'll be able to get different frames, you know, for this. So, I think that's crazy. You might be able to get 2011 frame, you know, whatever. Some, some other SIG stuff or, uh, um, I don't know, Glock, who knows. The fact that you have to have the meta unit in order for it to work. Deal breaker? No. Uh, expense? Yeah, because they could get up there. You know, you're talking 250 for a Meta 2, and then you're talking 500 bucks for a Meta 3, brand new. But if you know like I know, you probably heard of some things called Sezzle and, you know, the Pawn Shop. You can probably find you a used um, a Meta 2 or 3. And I said it was one of my favorite products from SHOT Show, man. If not my favorite. Like, it was... It was just that much fun. You know, I kept telling people about it like, man, you got to go check that out. I've never shot competition in my life. Still challenges where I would like to start when I do start shooting competition. So I think this is a great way for me to segue into that, man. And I just wanted to bring it to you guys. I also have a discount code because I, you know, any, any little bit you can save counts if you guys are interested in this. You can use the code ARGG on the ACE website. Save you a few bucks on your membership, man. You can tell them RGG sent you. Also, if you decided like, hey, I paid the whole year, but it's a little bit too expensive, you don't lose the software. And I think that's an important piece for people to know. You don't lose the software. You still get the basic uh, ranges and some basic stuff that you can do. You'll still be able to use Ace. You know what I'm saying? So once you get it, you got it. I just wanted to kind of introduce you guys to something new and something different and innovative. And it, it had me damn near addicted, man. I'd be spending a lot. You see, 30,000 rounds through the thing, so you know I'm using it. Um, so I'm having a ton of fun with it. Um, if you already have this, leave me a comment below. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. I'm sure the guys will be looking and be happy to answer any questions anybody may have, man. I appreciate y'all watching as usual. All right? Until the next video.